All right, Amy, time to fork over the phone before you start the test. What a great student. Okay, now give me the rest. Ugh, how could you even know? What do you do if your teacher takes away all your cheat sheets? Yep, even that one. How did you even think you'd get away with all that stuff? Good luck, I guess? All right, Kevin, hand over that phone. Anything else I should know about? Nope. I would never dream of cheating. All I brought is my soda. If you need a place to hide your cheat sheet, flip your soda bottle upside down. Then with a sharpie marker, start writing out your formulas on the plastic. But with formulas this long, how will the teacher not see? Because when you turn the bottle over, the soda covers it all. That's how. So now when you're struggling on an exam in class, you can rely on your good old soda bottle to help you out. Oh boy, the grades are back already? Well, that's what happens when you rely on your cheat sheet. Or rather, a poorly hidden one. Who said algebra was that hard anyway? Care to share the wealth, Kevin? Sure, but let me take a sec to cover my tracks. Now you see them, now you don't. Is there anything more stressful than waiting for your test to come back? Let's look at them together, okay? What? I got an F? How about you, Amy? All right, Kevin, you know what we have to do. It's time to pull out the old letter-changing trick. Believe it or not, getting an A on your test may be easier than you think. All it takes is a little creativity and a keen eye. Don't worry, we've got way more clever tips just like this one to help make your days at school a little bit easier. Looks like Kevin is doing just about anything in his room other than his homework. Kevin, what are you doing in here? <sighs> You'd better start doing some homework, young man. Well, looks like the fun's over, Kevin. Time to buckle down and get to work. It seems my job is done here. But while mom's away, Kevin will play. Watching videos in your room is great and all, but you have to make sure you have an escape plan. Stick one of those plastic hooks on the top corner of the door, facing downward. Then add another one, slightly above it, to the wall like this. Then hook a bungee cord, knot it on the first hook, and string it through the second one. Then string it to the other side of the door, where you'll put another hook. Once it's on that hook, attach the end of the cord to the back of your phone, like so. So the next time you're watching videos instead of doing your homework, and get a surprise visit from mom, you don't ever have to worry about getting caught red-handed. Hmm, looks like Kevin really is doing his homework for once. I never thought the day would come, but he really does listen to me. And just like that, you can get back to doing what you really want to do. Watch car chase videos for an hour. Sweet! Aw, who are those gorgeous flowers for, Kevin? Here she comes now! Is Kevin looking at me? Okay, don't panic. Look at the way he's smiling at me! Hey! Hello? Is he talking to me? There is no one else around. It has to be me! No boy has ever brought me flowers before. Oh my gosh, look how cute he looks! And those eyes… my heart just skipped a beat. Whoa, Sophia is sure looking good today. Hey, baby. Sorry, Lana, but it looks like those flowers are for Sophia, not you. Stupid popular girls. They sure make things awkward for the rest of us. The period just before lunch is always the toughest. Ooh, that tummy sounds hungry. Um, what is that noise? Sorry, guys. I forgot to eat breakfast this morning. I sure hope everyone knows these are tummy grumbles, not gas. Whoa, girl. Do you have a lion in there or something? Stomach grumbling is totally natural, but that doesn't make it any less awkward. Well, at least Lana finds it funny. Try not to laugh. Try not to laugh. Oh boy, this is tough. Miss Sophia, tell your stomach to try to keep it to a dull roar, will you? So awkward! 
Okay, why don't you go outside and eat a little snack to hold you over till lunch? And now we can laugh. <laughs> One great thing about no uniforms at school is being allowed to express yourself with fashion. But unfortunately, great minds tend to think alike, don't they? Seriously, Lana's wearing the exact same outfit as me! This is so awkward. And I thought wearing yellow would make me stand out from the crowd. That's it. I'm putting on my red sweatshirt before anyone notices she stole my look. This should teach me never to shop at our local mall again. Okay, that should do it. Phew, barely escaped that awkward moment. Huh? You've got to be kidding me! At least the two of you can rest assured, you have good taste. Whoa. Long equations like this require lots of brain food. But that gets tricky when no food's allowed in class. But have no fear, sneaking in food is easier than you think. What's that smell? You've just gotta be super smooth. If you want to chow down in class, get a load of these tricks. Be sure no teacher can stop you. Hey, don't you read, Kate. Is the coast clear? I'm starving. Is Jennifer chewing? I don't see anything. Aha! Jennifer! You got grub? Whoa, that was fantastic! Have an empty Pringles can? Outline a cutout like this. Then cut it out with a blade. Be sure to disguise the can. Now it'll look like a pencil tin. Once that's done, fill it up with a snack. Nice choice! Still have the lid? Cut off its ridge and drop it in. This way your pencils can sit on top. Pretty brilliant, right? Tummy feel better now, Kate? Perfect. Time's almost up, kids! And done! <sighs> All this focus works up an appetite. Want some? Huh? I hate this place. No one ever lets me eat in peace. But I can't help if I'm hungry in class. So unfair. I'm not taking this line down. I've got an idea. Get a plastic bag like this and fill it with your favorite snacks. Pierce the plastic with metal rings. Binders are perfect for this. It'll lay flat as if it were paper. Sneaking food just got way easier. Which page do you want? Girls? Nothing to see here! That was close. <laughs> 